This is Dan from Gear Diary. Judy and I spent some time with Seagate at CES 2012, and one of the things that we saw that had us pretty excited was Seagate's upcoming adapters for Thunderbolt. Their Seagate GoFlex Thunderbolt adapter, there's one for a 2.5 inch hard drive, and they have another one for desktop use for the 3.5 inch hard drive. This is one of the first accessible price-wise and production-wise consumer ways to take advantage of Thunderbolt. It's been in the MacBook Air and the iMac and a few other Apple products for a number of months, but until now it hasn't been usable, in part because you didn't have adapters like this, in part because this cable here from Apple is required to make use of it and it runs about 50 bucks. So we actually have one of the Seagate GoFlex Thunderbolt adapters for the two 0.5 inch hard drive. Seagate was kind enough to send us the adapter and the cable and one of their 500 gigabyte hard drives. Let's check out the speeds now. Okay, so what we have is we have the Seagate 500 gigabyte GoFlex drive. We're going to actually take this file, which is the video and images we took at CES. It's 2.5 gigabytes large, and we're going to bring it over here, and on the count of three, we're going to drop it, and we're gonna see how long it takes to move 2.5 gigabytes of information from my hard drive over to the Seagate GoFlex drive with USB 2.0. One, two, three. Okay, so now it's going and we can watch as it's moving along. It is kind of striking to see the speed or lack thereof with which this is moving. When USB 2.0 came out, I think we all thought, wow, this is incredibly fast, but you're actually sitting and waiting for a while and while 2.5 gigabytes of data is on the one hand a fair amount of, of information, these days, it's actually not all that much. If you're moving a video, uh, a movie that you downloaded, or a TV show, or a long video that you shot, 2.5 gigabytes is not a huge amount of data to move from one place to another, and you're just sitting here waiting. I mean, I could go get a cup of coffee while this is happening. And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna time this when we come back and we edit up the video, but you don't need to have a timer to show that, to, to see that this is really not a quick process at all. The Thunderbolt is said to be 20 times faster, so it's pretty impressive. We're going to run down the specs in the actual text of the review, in the actual text of the, the post, but you don't need it to see how long this is taking because when we make the swap and we put the drive connected to the Thunderbolt adapter uh, on the computer and we move over the 2.5 gigabytes of information, you're going to see the difference in speed. And in fact, we'll try to put them side by side if we can with the video because this it really is a huge difference in what you get. Okay, so there we go. That's it. We move 2.5 gigabytes of data over. I've now connected the Thunderbolt adapter to the computer. The hard drive is mounted to the adapter. And once again, we're going to take the 2012 shared folder, which is 2.5 gigabytes in size. We're going to drag it over here. As you can see, it's moving really fast. Thunderbolt is super fast. When we put the video side by side, you're going to see the difference. It looks like 20 times faster is probably pretty fair. So we're almost done. Again, this is two and a half gigabytes of data and it's just flying from the computer to the hard drive. And it's done. Let's take a look at the videos when they're put side by side. So here are the exact same tests that we just showed you. On the bottom is the USB 2 connection. On the top is the Thunderbolt connection. The exact same data, the exact same drive, and you can see the difference in speed. I mean, we're halfway done with the Thunderbolt and we're not even up to 500 megabytes done on the USB 2. You're going to see that by the time we're done with the Thunderbolt connection, we're still not up to a gigabyte on the USB 2 connection. Same data, same drive, the speed difference is phenomenal. And when you're sitting in front of the computer waiting for the data to move over, the difference is even more noticeable. 
So that's the difference with Thunderbolt. You have to get a Thunderbolt cable in addition and you need to bring your own hard drive. But if you need speed, if you want the flexibility, this is an amazing way to go. This is Dan for Gear Diary. Thanks for watching.